the first cyclorotors were imagined in the early 20th century, but now the same principles are being repurposed for modern vehicles. This video delves into the systematic process behind development of our cyclorotor propulsion system to be used on a proposed small unmanned aircraft. Firstly, we'll see how a cyclorotor works. When the blade is at the top of the cycle, it is angled producing positive lift. As the blades rotate around the rotor, it becomes effectively feathered producing no lift. As the blade approaches the bottom of the cycle, its direction switches and is angled to continue producing positive lift. All blades are controlled by an offset link in the centre of the rotor which can be rotated using a servo to change the direction of thrust. As blades rotate, they flap, mimicking an insect's wings, helping it produce lift. We used a Python-based mathematical model as well as computational fluid simulation as tools to design the rotor allowing us to predict the amount of thrust and efficiency that different changes would give in a way that was faster than testing them physically. This simulation shows rotational motion of the flow. As the blades spin around, they pitch in a flapping motion. This creates a pressure difference between the top and bottom. This pressure difference results in lift. We upgraded the previous test rig, making it more robust and capable. By using a motor to control the rotor's RPM, we can measure force and torque through the load cells, as well as power and RPM through a custom-made user interface and are sent off for post-processing. As a team, we're handed Mark Zero. There are many issues with this design, such as vibration and structural integrity. To improve this, we use stress tests to validate computational structural models leading to the creation of Mark 1. Many tests were performed on Mark 1 to help inform the design of Mark 2. During testing, we experienced multiple failures, such as with the strength of the 3D printer parts. By learning from these failures, we iteratively improved the design and performed more thorough structural tests, such as on the blade spars. This finally led to the creation of Mark 2. We still have our experience issues with the design. Through our group efforts, we fix these and produce a design that's stronger, lighter, and has reduced vibrations. Through our collective effort, we have produced a cyclocopter that is a notable improvement over last year's design. To add on to the project, a lightweight airframe consisting of carbon fibre tissues was created. The airframe will take the Mark II design and incorporate two of them. This will be mounted on the sides to create a cyclocopter. An analysis was performed to ensure the operating frequency of the rotor did not lie in the airframe resonance frequency. We hope this design can be used in the future and we can see it flying in the sky. 